we're gonna talk to Zelda. We're gonna initiate some, uh, what do you call it, plot. Um, which is kind of irrelevant because, um, there is no plot in this game. It is a grass cutting simulator. But, um, there is plot in this game. So, Zelda's like, hey, I totally had a dream about you last night. Hey, uh, well, actually, hey, I, I don't mean it like that, but still, I had a, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even talking to myself here. Just, um, say yes. Yeah, see, now she's like, oh, yeah, so I thought, little bitch. Um, see, she had a dream. That, um, all men were created equal. Okay, that, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah. And there, I see Navi! And there you are, the fairy- Oh, wait, that, that's not very nice. So, um, she was ranting and forgot I was there, and she was kind of, um, you know, now, now she's like, I'm Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. <laughs> and she thinks she's all cool. And I guess Link is actually telling her his name at the moment, which is Gayu, which is strange, because it somehow seems familiar in the fact that, you know, you don't know, unless you've played, uh, what is it, uh, Skyward Sword. But, you know what? Or any other Zelda game, for that matter. So she's gonna go ahead and tell us the Secret Realm story, and now we can be like, Cool story, bro. So, um, yeah, the legend goes like this. Three goddesses hid the Triforce, containing the power of the goddess somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant a wish of one whoever holds the Triforce in his hands. Someone with the righteous heart makes a wish. It will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has a wish granted, the world consumed by evil. And that is what we've been told. So the ancient sages built a temple of time to protect the Triforce from the evil ones. And that's it. That's right! The Temple of Time, the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm! From our world! <clears throat> but the entrance is sealed by a wall called the Door of Time. You know what, I'm gonna go and take a wild stab and say they weren't very original when they were thinking of uh, the names for these things, were they? No, like, hmm, let's see, what should we call this? We should call it the Temple of Time. Cool! What should we call the, um, thing that blocks, you know, the Sacred Realm? I think we're gonna call it the Wall of Time. Really? Yeah! Okay! So, I'm gonna just go ahead and spy through here, um, observing, uh, some dark cloud that symbolizes that man there. Um, actually, I don't want to look. Just kidding. Who am I kidding? I love looking through windows. Windows are awesome. So, there he is. Orange-haired man. I see him. You know what? He, apparently, he has some evil eyes. Look at him. That's Ganondorf, the leader of the Grudos. Um... Doesn't seem like a bad guy to me, honestly. So, she thinks he is full of BS. And, you know what? I see the honesty in his eyes. I think he's a really good man. I really do. He smiled, see? He saw me. He smiled. How can he be a bad person? And he doesn't even know we're planning yet. Oh, you're planning something. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to stop you there, Zelda. I think he's a good person. You know, I, I think you're just crazy. And uh, I think the Triforce is just, uh, you're just delusional about it, and you're obsessed with it. So, yeah. Um, 
now we're gonna... Okay, I have to protect it now. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna have to say I don't believe you. And now she's like... Please believe me. My prophecies have never been wrong. But... Uh, you know what? To be, you have changed my mind. Just like with that one sentence, you have changed my mind. How how could I have ever doubted you, Zelda? Uh, there's some amazing 3D effects there. I mean, look at those flowers. They're as 3D as you can get. Uh. You know, yeah, like like I said before, you know, after playing the 3DS version of this game, this is not as impressive, but I have to say this game has aged very well for, um, for being how old it is. Um, she's gonna go ahead and write us a, rec a, re a letter of recommendation so we can get a good job. And, um, now we'll just probably try to go to the bazaar and get a job and be like, hey, um, excuse me, I, I don't have any experience, but, you know, I have a letter of recommendation from Zelda. She's right there. Um, you know what? I think that joke's gone far enough. I'm getting the hell out of here. And I'm not even looking back. Oh, there's Ampa. Now, she is a pretty cool character. Um, she's from the Sheikas, if, if you can see that there. Uh, it's kind of like a tribe of people. Uh, I think people look way too far into it sometimes, and they think they're their own separate race. But no, they they're like they are Helians, but they merely uh, are part of a tribe. So they might be a different uh, like ethnic group. But I would not call them a different race. In fact, why don't you guys discuss this and uh, rage on me? <laughs> Apparently, that is not the button I should be pressing. Let's try this again. Those single buttons we have just learned. Zelda's lullaby. And Zelda should be asleep right now. Because it always puts her to sleep. It's kind of like the opposite of a polka flute. Um, yeah. Actually, that would be the opposite of a polka flute now. Alright, so now we have gone through the back door. Which is not a, a reference to somebody's butthole. So, she's calling us brave and telling us to protect Hyrule. You know what? I believe her more than I do Zelda, to be honest. She's telling me to go to uh, Death Mountain there. As you can see, the uh, cut -a or cardboard cutout of it over there. So, um, we should probably head towards it and we might find the real thing. So, um, apparently Death Mountain's kind of dangerous. Um, people could die there a lot. And, um, she's gonna you know, recommend we go over there and talk to the guard and try to get in. So, it might be dangerous, but heck, we'll have fun doing it, right? Right? Um, so, our princess is waiting for us. When we get all the stones, she's totally gonna be there and be like, Oh my god, you have all the stones! That's the coolest thing! So now she's gonna be ninja and crap! And she's gone. Where did she go? I don't know. Does it matter? Probably not. All right, let's go. So we've gone. We're in. We're not. We're not. We're no longer in there. We're here. So that's cool. We'll go over the bridge, and uh, we'll make uh, a few uh, connections here. Climb up this little uh, staircase. The stairs are a good workout. We'll get a little cool bir uh, bird's eye view of the, the Kakako village. This guy, he's just a guard. 
nothing really special about him. I think he tells time. I'm gonna make sure. I don't really remember. Ding dong! Ding dong! I am the clock soldier. Time is currently... 5. Oh, 08. Hello there, son. Oh, okay. So now you have a personality. Now, I don't care what time it is, guy. I mean... Oh, someday this place might be as lively as Hyrule's town, huh? I bet it will. You know what? I bet it will, too. And you know what? I really have had enough of what you're saying, because I don't want to talk to you anymore. And I don't care if I need the king's permission. I do what I want. So we're going to go this way. Maybe attack the chicken later. God, I want to. Okay, we will not attack the chicken right now. We will later. This guy's just yelling. He's mad. Because you know what? It's going to take these guys like seven years to even do anything here. And um, I'm going to have to agree with him on that. Because these guys are just running around in circles. So I'm going to break some pots. Uh, look up here. Pretty cool. Uh, not, not what I call, would call a skyscraper or anything, but it is obviously there. Um, here's another guard. He's not going to want to let us in. Oh, he, he, he's laughing at us because we're a child. Honestly. But I show him this, and he's like, Oh, I'm sorry, let me suck your dick. Pretty much. So... Now he's uh, letting us uh, in, and in fact, he's going to even be nice to us by giving us a little uh, discount, or a coupon, if you would. You know what? He's still a jerk. Never mind. He's laughing at us. He's like, uh, hey, Mr. Hero, I hope you die. <laughs> uh, pretty much. And by the way, Mr. Hero, um, go climb Death Mountain. You should probably equip your shield. In fact, I'm going to give you a little um, coupon you can spend get a good deal on a shield. Um, yeah. I will, actually, because 40 rupees is a lot right now. Uh, but now he's like, okay, you know what, you didn't, I'm doing you a favor. You do me a favor, you jerk. Go to the Happy Mask Shop and get me a freaking mask. That's all he's asking of me. But this is a bare minimum run, so I'm not going to be doing that, you little hoser. That's right, I called you a hoser. You're not even Canadian. That has nothing to do with your ethnicity. But you are indeed a hoser. Yeah, that's right. Sigh, little bitch. So we're gonna go back. Get the shield. Uh, I think I'll get it. No, I'm gonna get it now. Because I don't want to lose my wooden shield. I'm gonna go here. You know what? I'm gonna kill the chicken. Just to show you guys what happens when you fuck with the chicken. What happens? You run like hell, because you're about to die! I'm pretty good at dodging the chickens. Yay! Pretty much, they hit you, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, especially if you only have three hearts, like I do. Um, but, you know what, I have uh, my skills, you could say. And I know how to dodge the chickens pretty efficiently. Oh, no, 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 Don't you dare change time. No? Okay, stay daytime, stay daytime, stay daytime. Yes! I did it. Now, I just need one rupee. There we go. Got my one rupee. Never going back in that room again. So... Now we're going to, uh, the bazaar. No affiliation with any porn sites. 